every time we've got an update on this, it's worse than we thought. So that's where we're at right now. Hello and good morning everyone. You guys, it's the first day of school. We're getting started really early. We haven't been awake at seven o'clock unless we've had to be this summer. Just waking the kids up. Kirby just came downstairs. Brand new school uniforms. Looking so fresh. Are you excited for your first day? Yeah. <gasps> Whoa. My hair looks off. Well. Right guy. Let's hope that that hair <laughs> gets fixed turns into something you have got a mop but that's the look to wear it cool and long on top can i get you guys some breakfast mm -hmm. yeah mr brexy doodle not his first day but still looking very fresh gonna get school lunches started here in just a second early teeth brushing you're doing a good job make sure you brush every single tooth i want all those ladies to smell your fresh breath Ooh. Getting kids' lunches done. They have chosen turkey sandwiches today. Kruby only takes a half. Raiga takes a whole. We're gonna do grapes. Kruby, I have a challenge for you. If you eat everything in your lunchbox, then maybe we could do like a weekly reward. But guys, this boy has a hard time eating fruits and veggies. I'm trying to sneak stuff in that he will actually eat, but he is so picky, it's hard to find fruits and veggies that he likes. Pizza. Yeah, that's pretty much all he likes. Pizza, mac and cheese, chicken nuggets, all the junk. Which I can't blame him. I try to sneak in healthy stuff where I can. 100% juice, Capri Suns. They're so yummy. Of course, every kid wants chips, fruit snacks. <laughs> so we did have fruit. Oh my gosh, that does not count. <laughs> this is their lunch for today, and of course they always get a note from mom. to school with me? Yeah? Wanna go to school? Take the boys, I mean? Can I take me to school too? I wish I could take you to school, but we gotta to go to the doctor, remember? Okay. Guys, what's more important than anything on day one? Fresh hair. Fresh hair. Although it's not a fresh haircut, but these guys want a big wall of hair. They want it pushed high. Well, they want, want the wave deep. High and over. <laughs> I love how you guys know what you want with hair. I remember when I was a kid, I had a flat top and I was so concerned with the flat top. I had to have this weird pink gel type stuff and then this brush that I would just brush over the top of my head. His hair just goes Whoa, Kirby, look at me, dude. <laughs> Like Ryler's. Whoa, that is a wall of hair, bro. You here, look, you can see right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty rad. Yeah, Hold on, let me fix it. And then Ryan guys just got this mop we're trying to tame I just over want here. To go up and then a little bit down. Sick wave. Hello. Your arm, how is it? Oh, are we gonna go to the doctor today? Maybe they'll give you a cast. Yeah. That'd be so fun. And I'll hold you me all day. Pink. A pink one. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right, here is Cruz's look for his first day of school. What do you guys think of the hair? Smash that like button for Cruz's hair because that's about the best I've ever seen it look, bro, ever. <laughs> Go check it out, dude. You're gonna love it. I guarantee oh it. Right, guy? You have more hair on your head currently than I've had my whole life. If you took all my haircuts ever in my life, it would not equal the amount of hair you have right now. <laughs> All right, dude, looking good. What are you guys Do you guys know? I wanna see. Most of you don't know because we did not vlog, nor did we really video anything when Riley was a kid, but he had a mohawk for the first how many years of his life? It was a mohawk. mohawk. Sort of, because you spiked it straight up the middle, dude. Until eight years old, so for eight years, he had a full-on mohawk. Once I'm done, I'll show you the picture of me and my mohawk. Check it out, this was Rai Guy. Literally, for eight years, he had that mohawk right there. Until he was eight years old, and then now. Oh shoot, ride the wave, bro, ride the wave. Check out these handsome studs. And Brex Dito's getting his hair combed because he's gonna hang out with us today, huh, Brex? You're gonna go with us to go to the maybe doctor. You get to watch Hazy's cast, but put on. We hope, fingers crossed hope it's a cast and not surgery. This is it, the classic, never gets old, tried and true first day of school picture. Mom adds a little flair to it with her little pin board. Is that what you call that? Letter board, letter board. When I started out, Look how grade, handsome he is. I reached uh, the wreath, and now he does. That is crazy. And guys, if you want to cry, go back and watch every first day of school vlog and watch them grow up this door. We always take one on the last day of school too to show the growth. Crew we do, third grade. Let me go change it really quick. You're not ready, third grade. You're not ready for crew. I'm gonna go get some merch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Rye guy is moving his way up the door, you guys. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at him, you guys. We've only lived here for a couple years, and I swear I remember him being to the door handle. Now he's to the peephole. I don't know what's going on. 
differently than they actually are. <laughs> Don't grow up, never grow up. Fourth grade. Everyone thinks you look like you're more like in sixth or seventh grade, dude. We'll see how tall I am. At the, the end of this year, you head. might be taller. Next year, I'm going into fifth grade, which is lockers. Blue lockers in fifth grade. If you guys don't realize, mom in between doing the boards here, she's got one rag guy, one crew, and now a brother's first day of school. It's windy out here. I love it. So Brexton's first day of school is next week. We'll do one of those for him. I love it. Look at these handsome studs, first yeah. day of school. I can't wait to get one with Brexy up there doing all three first day of school. Make sure you guys follow us on Instagram at this is how we bang it. Cause we posting that. <laughs> guys, school supplies locked and loaded. Rag has got giant bag of school supplies, backpack full. Bag inside of a bag. karidu has got a bag inside of a bag. It's also a cool show and tell. So he's bringing his motocross trophy. He's bringing merch hat. Crew is lucky enough to have Ryler's teacher that he had last year. I was the room mom for that class. And so Ryler's giving him all of the tips and tricks to Mrs. Webster's class. He's like, here's what you need to know. Good, better, best. Never let it rest. Till your good is better and your better is best. Till your good is better and your better is best. It's kind of cute. And you guys, there's some funny, quirky things to this year's schedule. So Crew has Ryler's old teacher. Brexton has the new kindergarten teacher. Crew's teacher and Brexton's teacher are sisters. It's kind of cool. So I'm excited. I'm excited for this year. And I asked Cruz teacher if I could be her room mom again because I knew her. Like I know how she likes things done. I get to go in and do all the class parties, do anything that she needs help with throughout the year. So it's really awesome. I didn't get to be in Cruz class very much last year because I was so busy with Rylers. So this year I get to be in Cruz class a lot. Why well, guys just telling me his favorite sandwich I've ever made was a peanut butter and honey with bananas. I'll start wow. taking notes. Isn't like on the call like the Elvis Presley or something weird like that? I don't know. Elvis oh, Presley. We're just waiting for carpool. Kids are getting excited. On a scale from one to ten, how excited are you guys? Super excited. One million. Wow. Super right. excited. I love school. Have a phenomenal first day of school. Yay. We Have love you. Day. Give your mom a kiss. Yeah, where's my kisses? Go through the window. It might be easier, mom. <laughs> Make good choices, okay? Kirby do. I love you, bro. Make good choices today. Love you guys are studs. Don't forget it. I love you. Make some new friends and most of all, have fun. Have the best day of your lives. Love you. Have the best day ever. Whoa. Oh, look at those two handsome boys. Love you guys. Hazy girl, guess where we are? Eh? Doctor. I'm gonna call the doctor. And, and the doctor said? said? No more jumping off slides at Lego Land. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, kids are in school. So next up on the agenda for today is taking this little one to find out what the latest is on her arm. We're gonna get some new x-rays, find out if she needs surgery, and possibly cast this thing in an adorable what pink cast. It? Trying to say this for three days, pediatric orthopedics. There you go. Are we gonna get your arm fixed? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. I'm excited too. We are in the hospital room. We just met with the nurse and the doctor's coming in next to take a look at Hazy Girl. As you can tell, she's doing pretty good, you guys. But we're gonna find out if there's gonna need to be any surgery on this. They're gonna check the films. Hazy, you're being so zany right now. Let's go potty. But hopefully we're gonna get this in cast. We're gonna do one last potty break before we see the doctor. Just took Hazy back to get x-rays. The doctor came in, took a look at it, said he'd like to get a better picture of the main break because that's the one where the bones can slide. So he wants to get a little bit better, clearer picture of where it's at now. I think this is where we find out if it's gonna be surgery or not. He's optimistic that we won't need it, but just wants a better picture. So mom took Hazy back there. I kept Brexton in here. We're just hanging out. They don't let you video in the x-ray room. So that's why we're hanging out in here. And they didn't want to expose Brex to any unnecessary radiation because they could tell he's already pretty weird. Mm -mm. <laughs> Back from the x-ray, we're about to take a look at him, but you're thinking it doesn't look good. They did the, the x-ray like this way, so you can see both bones on top of each other, and they are Which is like, a perspective we haven't had yet. It's supposed to be like straight, and it's like, it's like tented. Oh boy. So I think like the doctor was like, uh, he would have his head. I think. Oh, jeez. So that's the two bones that, they're overlapping. What? Uh, Why does it look like that? 
we just saw the x-rays, we just showed them to you guys. The darker imaged one is just kind of showing how off it is. And I don't know if I'm ready for the word surgery. I've been kind of talking about it loosely like it's not a big deal, but I am like fighting back tears. If he comes in and says, oh, it's gotta be, I didn't know it was that bad. We haven't got that angle We haven't before. seen that angle, but they- And it's bad. They had this really it's cool machine. They, they had this machine that like tilts and turns and up and down. And it's so like- get the perfect angle. Yeah, like, this is specifically for kids. They're gonna have stuff that's So they had it like come down to her level. She put her arm in and then they just turned the machine to go like right this way on it. It was just awesome. So basically we're able to see an angle we've never seen. Every time we've got an update on this, it's worse than we thought. So that's where we're at right now. I just remember when Brandon broke his leg. If you guys haven't watched that series of him breaking his leg, it's a fun one. <laughs> The guy's like, yeah, you'll be home tonight. Just cast it up. And they went to the hospital and they're like, oh, this is pretty bad. And then he's like, you might have to have surgery. Oh, you're going to end up being here for five days. Oh, you're not going to walk for You're not going to walk for months. months. Yeah, that was a It was a like fun every one. time it was harder and harder. So we'll see. We'll see. Waiting for the doctor to come in, go over what they said will be our options based on the current x-ray. So it looks like it's well aligned. This one shows it's got a little bit of a angulation to it. Like I said, she's, she's really young. It should be fine. We'd like to make it just a touch better, which I don't think is going to cause her too much pain. We're going to put a cast on her. What we do is we typically mold the cast, which means we kind of just put some pressure on it, make sure nothing gets worse. If we just make a tube around her arm, things will start moving around as her swelling goes down. It'll look a little flatter on her arm, but that's normal. Crazy looking cast makes straight bones. We so, actually heard that. So you're not going to yeah. have to like pull it? No, no, no. I'm not pulling it. anything. No, well, I mean, like, you could, I guess you could call it a reduction because I'm just gonna, when I mold it, I'm just kind of, kind of make it straight. The way that she's bent right now, so all I want to do is just make it so her cast is bent forward just a touch. Does that make sense? But I do want to take a little picture after going with the cast just to make sure it looks okay. 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 <gasps> okay. Okay. Do you know what kind of cast you want? Cool. Pink. <laughs> She's like, I don't even need to see the colors. Look at these color choices. Pink. Oh, that was so Good easy. <laughs> Mom actually did her nails before for, we came uh, today, so. For her cats. That was like way better news than I was hoping for. So they're still going to reduce it in a way, I guess. So he's like, you have to be careful when you do it because you don't want to go too much the other way because then you're breaking it the other way. But he says, we'll just apply some pressure when we put her cast on, which means it'll just make it grow and fill in a little nicer. So guys, I feel like this is like really good outcome. Honestly, best case scenario at this point. Like yeah, absolute so best. Happy. She's being cast today. The swelling is reduced enough that she can actually be casted. We don't have to yank on her arm. We don't want to have to have surgery. She's got her toes and fingernails painted pink to match her pink cast. This is turning out great. Ooh, it's still a little swollen. It is a little bit. Most that you can kind of keep her up like this and kind of have her move her fingers while she's going to show her something, the better. Okay. We're going to have this long cast on for three and a half weeks. When you come back in three and a half weeks, we'll talk about whether or not she needs to go in a cast that goes below or if she's okay just to be in a brace or something like that. So this is like all the way up, huh? <laughs> They're getting the pink part ready! Yay! Do you like the color? <laughs> She's smiling over there. <laughs> you like the pink? You like the pink, Katie? You have to go buy school clothes that match this now. Oh, man. <laughs> See, that's where I'm supposed to be today. I'm supposed to be at school, huh? <laughs> what grade are you going into? Just preschool. Oh my goodness, so much fun. Well, so now you do a second one. And depending on how it feels, you might do it first. You just want to make sure it's hard. This is definitely going to be heavy. <laughs> Number three here. It's okay. Hey, look at mama. Look at mama. Look at mama. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He's making sure it's all better. It's okay. I know, sweetie. So they're re-x-raying. Now that it's in the cast, what was happening there when Hazy started crying is that he was pushing flat the bottom to kind of as a way just make sure that bone that was bent this way flattens out and heals straight. So that was basically pushing the break back together. So that was hard to watch, but they're re-x-raying it to make sure it's in a straighter position. And if it is, then we can be on our way. Gosh, that was hard, that was hard. Might be a little bit of movement. Our goal is to make sure that there's not too much movement to where it's gonna cause a problem. Just getting ready to head out. It's like 100 pounds. Yeah, it's seriously huge. Here you go. Hello, anybody home? Nope. <laughs>
She's um, doing good. So you guys can tell they kind of flattened it here. So it looks like a flat burrito. You just want to eat your burrito. It is squished. <laughs> I do love the nails matching the cast. We're going to have squished. to keep those nails painted, okay? No, no, no. Mom. Yeah, she's doing much better now. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this pretty girl? Look at mom. <laughs> Hazy, she is popping her knee for her cast picture. Oh my gosh, Hazel. <laughs> you. <laughs> Hazel, you did so good today. I'm so proud of you. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Before you break something. <laughs> is it heavy? Check out my Hazy Girls pink cast. It is so adorable. So much happened so fast in there. Like, I feel like we need to do like a quick recap in case we forgot to say anything. Basically, they squished her arm into place. She doesn't need surgery. She has an adorable pink cast. We have to be extremely careful because if she falls yeah, at gave all. Us, like six or seven rules because their bi their biggest worry now is that she'll fall, she'll break this Because this is so rigid. If she did any kind of that would accident, that would break that bone. So we still are not in the clear. We've got to keep her. You're pretending. Can I knock on it? Hello? Hello? Is Hazy home? Can she play? <laughs> no, she can't for three and a half weeks. So three and a half weeks we'll be back. We'll find out if we no, get a no, short she cast. She can't do dance. Yeah, we she can't play dance. with sand. She can't she can't do a lot of things. But that's we're okay. gonna focus on what she can do and that's look adorable. Mm, make you ready. <laughs> Just picked up the kids from school. Best you guys day ever. Oh. <laughs> Good thing we're not moving. How was your first day? Good, I love it. We made s'mores. Kirby made s'mores in his class. Rye Guy loves his teacher. Best teacher ever. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. Do you guys have homework first day? No. Nope. You do. You do. I do? Wait, what? You and dad. What? Two sheets. I have homework? You guys have I don't to want homework. Stuff. I'm not very smart. Okay, well we're gonna head home. Here you go. Open this. Three sheets. I have homework. You have to read two sheets, Aww. and there's one you have to sign, and then an entire page with just questions. Okay, perfect, I can do that. We're gonna head home, get a snack going. The boys were so excited to see Hazy's cute cast. I love it. She's getting frustrated because her arm itches. Yeah. Knock on it, they said. If it itches, then knock. It I think her other arm itches. <laughs> you can use your arm, Hazy. You can use your right arm. Is that no. Just picked boys up from school. Ryler is so he excited about his teacher. Saying best day of his life. Oh my gosh, he was doing that in the school and everything. So Kruby excited. is also super excited. He had s'mores today. Did he tell you that? Yes. I said, what was your favorite part of the first day? He said s'mores. I was like, did you say s'mores? That's he has the best about. teacher. You guys, I told you guys that Crew has Ryler's old teacher, and she is incredible. And Ryler's teacher is just the nicest. Just so nice. That's so awesome. Yeah. Boys thought Hazy's cast was really cute. So guys, when we come home from school, typically what we're gonna try and do is homework work, chores, things like that, but for a day one treat, I'm gonna take these boys to the gas station to get a treat, promise them. Yes. I love this, the kids are sliding right into the new routine. We got kids on chores, Kirby Doo here is doing the dishes, Rag Guy just cleaned out the van, he's now cleaning his room. Kids are gonna go clean their room, Brexton's actually cleaning the sinks in the bathroom, what a stud. So this is hopeful that this is going to be a smooth transition into the school year. One thing that's nice is that we're kind of easing into it because we had just the two boys start today, obviously Hazy was supposed to start today but didn't, so she'll start on Wednesday, Brexton next week, and so we're just kind of like easing into the different things here. We actually have another added element of difficulty to this school year that we need to tell you about. So I'm gonna let Rye Guy tell you about that. Hazy girl, look at your hair. Ooh, I love it. Are you going dancing? Yes. Mom, are you going dancing? I'm going dancing. Yes, she is going dancing. Hazy girl, show us your pink cast. Oh, oh, you're okay. flexing your muscle. Oh, yeah. She also does Check like a little leg pop. Yeah, whenever she shows it, she pops her leg. Can you show me your cast, Hazy? <laughs> Thank you so much for the well wishes and the concern about today's appointment. It seriously means the world to us. We've been flooded with messages as we posted on Instagram that it did not require surgery. We had so many people pouring in saying how relieved they were and that they were sitting by their phones waiting to find out. And so thank you guys so much for your concern. It was a huge blessing for us because we were a little worried about it. I was on a roller coaster because I was a little worried about it, but I didn't think it was gonna happen. Then we got there and the x-rays looked really bad, and then I was and then, like, like, oh my gosh, it's gonna happen. Tell he was like, uh he was like great with her, explained everything. We've never done anything like like this before but I was so grateful he was able to do something without doing surgery without having to reduce it like in a super painful way he did have to push on it to kind of line the bones really up hard. which was hard to see but again like he was so kind and caring and gentle with her up front that he kind of established that trust with her he was awesome stay tuned because three and a half weeks we go back and we find out if Most we can go down to a smaller get a cast, cast get a brace get a who knows what just follow the healing process this is gonna be interesting watching her try and function with the cast on Aww. first day of school in the books guys how was your first day of school I love my teacher. Everybody loved their teachers. Had a great time. Cruise making. 
Crew's making a floor puzzle over there. Brexy starts next week. Tune in for that. Oh, right guy. I'm so silly. I told everybody that we have another thing that's going to add to our school schedule. Do you have an announcement you'd like to make? I made swim team. That's right, baby. He's wearing the shirt right there. Right guy made the swim team. And not only did he make the swim team, he moved up a level in swim team. So this is every day, early morning swim. I'm going to be taking him Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Mom's going to take him Tuesday and Thursday. And he's going to be rocking it out in that pool every day, increasing his skills, increasing his abilities. He gets better every year. And that's going to be one more thing we add to our school schedule is Rye Guy's swim practice every morning, 6 a.m., bro. Oh, Boom. Yeah. Super proud of Ryler, super proud of Hazy, crew, everybody, just like, it was such a good day today. And um, honestly, like, Brex helped me around the house a ton today. Yeah, I'm excited day. for Brex to go to school next week. Not because I want to get rid of him, because I think he's excited. I think he's going to love it. And Hazy will go to school on Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. Her very Her first, first day, day of school. Don't miss a beat. Thank you for subscribing. Tons of new faces. Welcome to all of you. Welcome to the family. You guys are the greatest, and You're you've just best. joined the greatest family on the internet. Each and every one of you, 200 and something thousand strong. I'm losing track because it's we growing so guys. fast. You guys are the best. We will see you guys tomorrow. We love you. Thank you so much. Good night, everybody. Yeah.